I'm trying to do things. It's 
my game gonna fucking load? Trying to promote myself. Oh wait, no, it's not going to. Cause... God damn it. Hang on. Forgot I had to change stuff because of Resident Evil. God, why? I love when stuff messes up. My favorite thing. And then it's gonna mess up tomorrow for Resident Evil. Bet. Anyways, uh, we're supposed to be getting stuff for, not stuff, there was supposed to be an announcement today of a new thing for the the thing with the thing that my mind's going blank on. Uh, a new ghost thing. Yeah, I talked to her. Oh, there you are. Somebody's causing an awful lot of ruckus over at the looming tower aisle. It's kind of throwing me off my groove, you know? I'm pretty sure it's one of your friends. Therefore, I'm holding you officially responsible to make sure it stops. Damn it, Lisa Linda. Pretty sure her name's Linda. Is it just the West? I think it is. Impeccable timing as always. You wouldn't believe how many books I've read though. Even for me, but I think I have a new lead on Galloper. Oh, the noise? I'm just packing some things for the camp. It's for our journey. To pack this one last book, and then we can go. There's so much we have to- Oh, you're wondering where we're going? Right, lead on Galloper. You might want to take a seat. I'll tell you what I found out. You know, somebody stole Galloper's memories, but why would they do that? What is there to gain? Got me thinking, what if this somebody actually did something to Galloper? Something bad, something they didn't even want him to remember. I forgot, I still have the music on for Star Stable, so... You're gonna have to bear with me for a second. Suddenly it all made sense, and all the anguish, anger, and regret I was sensing around Galloper before. It wasn't simply blind rage, it was the feeling of revenge. Something must have happened in the past 900 years ago before he became Galloper Thompson, back when he was just Gunner. At first I started searching the archives for our, any descendants or relatives of Gunner Thrymson. When that failed, I turned my effort to the Jarl and his closest allies. Then a familiar name popped up, Magnus Steiner. It's been said that Gunner Thrymson broke magical runestones with the help of a stone mason, a stone mason by the name of Magnus. We know that the ghost of Magnus still wanders Jorvik to this day, and the last time he was seen was in the stone cutter's vault in the valley of the hidden dinosaur. Let's go see if he's still there. I'll finish packing up my camp and meet you there. Alright, I meant to ask, do you remember what we learned about Galloper Thompson last time, or do you want to remind him before? No, I'm good. You have a memory of a scholar, Christina. Very well then, let's go. Huh? None of that music. 
I'm not about to get copyrighted. Uh, before I do that, Linda, Lisa, Linda. Oh, it's the trick or treat ghost. Did I scare you with my cool mask? That's a nice horse you got. I have a cool idea. How about we go trick or treating together? If you wear a mask to match mine, we're bound to get even more goodies. Masks are really cool. They hide your identity, which is great if you want to go around and ask people for more candy. Hint, hint, you should wear one too. I think if you match the one I'm wearing, we'll get even more treats. People like to reward effort. You can pick up some masks from the shop. I've drawn my inspiration from their stock, so there's at least one mask that you can get from there that will match mine. If the mask you're looking for isn't there, you might want to go check your storage. Some masks obtained from other stores might also match my prop. I'll let you know what I think of what you're wearing before you ride off to Gorbik. Of course, we don't have to match and we'll still get candy. Let's give trick-or-treating a try here in the keep. I want to make sure your animal companion is okay with me riding them. I don't weigh anything, but some living beings seem to feel cold when you try to touch them. Now, if, you never, if you've never gone trick-or-treating before, here's how you do it. You walk up to someone and say trick-or-treat. I know how to do this. Ghost is up there. So for I bet you know tons of people across your bit. Let's go. Yeah, later. I'll do that later. Maybe I should do this later, considering. What is this space? How did I get here? This is a new thing. You, have you heard of the phantom which is roaming around Jorvik? I was riding around Golden Leaf Forest when I came face to face with her. Suddenly I was being surrounded by darkness and I recognized a shadow looming over me. I was looking over my shoulder, trying to run as fast as I could, but the witch's magic just surrounded me. When I awoke, I found myself here in the keep, her ghastly figure retreating into the skies. As she flew away, a letter fluttered to the ground. Did she drop it unintentionally, or was she luring me into going after her? You can have the letter if you want, but be, but beware, the witch will surely seek to find what is rightfully hers. Oh, uh, so this is basically Galliver's thing. <sighs> Alright, well, let's do main story first. I guess I'll just get stuck. And there's some new magic horses, which I will check out now, actually, because that's far away. Look how pretty. There's only one I'm going to get, and it's this one. I, I think they're inspired. Oh God, they're inspired by butterflies. But then I don't get this part. Because it looks like armor. Um, in Ireland, legend says, says butterflies can cross from the human world to the other world. On Norvik, that other place has a different name, Pandoria. And it is a rare breed of magical horse, not butterflies, who cross over. Dark as the night, Dorsha is known as the guardian of the caves. They are the skittish sort 
rarely coming to the surface and avoiding the pink cracks that break through the cave floors, unlike their purple main counterparts. Traversing the dim caverns has given Dorsha excellent spatial awareness, but they can be agitated in open fields so they're used to the narrow cavern. Stories say that if a traveler gets lost in the wind, in the winding caves, Dorsha will help, guiding them to the surface but stopping just short of the light. Their name comes from the Irish word for darkness and mystery, alluding to the temperament of the shy and in Ugh. enigmatic creature. Dorsha's coat has many eyes that closely that closely resemble a peacock's feather. Your vision storytellers allude this to the peacock butterfly passing between worlds as the legends tell. Like other magic horses in Jorvik, Dorsha shows its true colors in wild places and will conceal its appearance in populated areas. Whether in its magical form or disguised to blend in with other horses, Dorsha rides just like the Irish cobs it mostly resembles. Here's the other one. I'm not a fan of pink, especially bright pink, so... Right as the break of dawn, Solus is said to pass between this world and another, a reality that lies in tandem with Jorvik, a place of pink skies and floating islands, glowing mushrooms and panda rays. They reach this other world through the winding cave systems hidden deep under Jorvik. Their time spent in the pink unreality has affected Solus' metabolism, giving them seemingly boundless energy, jumping between floating islands has also made them surprisingly fleet, fleet fluted. <laughs> so many words. Their names come from the Irish word for brightness and illumination. Much like the horse's vibrant coat and personality, Solus coat has many eyes that closely resemble the peacock's feather. Revision storytellers allude this to the peacock butterfly passing between worlds as the legend tells. See, it just looks like armor. So, I mean, I don't get it. I mean, I'm still gonna get it, but like not now because they'll be here for like four weeks. So. I have time. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going. I should have taken a thing. I can't remember how to get to the vault. It's like, there's like a portal thing over here, but over here but I forgot how to get there so <gasps> fuck I went the wrong way embarrassing this is what I needed I see gate oh hello
All those times of fucking archaeology made me remember. By the wolf hall. God damn it. I don't know how I took a dangerous fall, but all right. Why is there a thing here? Can't see where the... This is a little chillier than I remember. Really? Where'd you go? Where am I? Stone Cutter's fault. Isn't it amazing? I can feel the magic in the air. Mm, bet you can. Now let's look for Magnus. Oozing pile of ectoplasm lies on the ground where the ghost of Magnus Steiner used to be. Gross. Ugh, ghost goo. Magnus clearly isn't here anymore, but maybe we can track him. Let's look for clues. How about we don't? It's so confusing in here. A small figurine in the shape of a majestic rearing horse. It looks very old. Yeah, I'm just gonna steal that. Why don't I just steal that? Here's a worn green tinted brick. No wait, it looks more like a roofing tile. Wow. Uh. Oh, I need to go this way. Excuse me. Not the hiccups. These look like scraps of an ancient bridle adorned with bronze serpentine or ornaments. Yeah, I know that. Well, at least it will make of them. Mm, a green roof tile, a horse figurine, and an old bridle. They must be hundreds of years old. What do you think, Christina? Can we deduce where Magnus might have gone by studying these three objects? Yes, that has to be it. Magnus must have kept these here as a memento for him of his past, which means Yorvik Stables must be an important place for him. Great time eff Oh, nope, not great time. Great team effort! Figuring this out, we could probably open a detective agency. I hope. It's not a lot to go by, but it's the only lead we have. Let's go to the Yorvik stables. Hopefully, we'll find Magnus there. 
Let's get out of this vault. Meteor must be getting restless. I'm sure Willow Tree would appreciate moving on to a warmer location as well. Considering she's a tree? Yeah. I imagine so too. Oh, is she going to follow me? All right. Well, I'm taking a shortcut, so. Archaeological find. I don't care anymore. I hate that sound so much. Did I just fall? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Linda, you good? I'll probably just run there. It's not that far. Oh my god. She's just teleporting everywhere now. Also, I will buy the Halloween horse. Uh, it may be off stream, but I will buy them. Kind of depends on how much this horse levels up. And I could train her, but God, does anyone remember when Starshine was just walking around here? It was so nice. Oh wait, your name is Linda, because it's Lisa Peterson. Duh. So where are we going first? Okay, so she'll just say something. So I don't have to stop.
Ah, was ist da? Did I get that? I did. This is what I was after. I don't know what she said. You found me. Help. Somebody help me. The horseman. The horseman? Is he talking about Galloper Thompson? Why would he think we are Galloper? He's definitely seemed scared. Let's see if we can calm him down somehow. Please don't take me away. 300 horses. You know, over there, I saw something. Wow, what's that? that real quick. The ground lies an ancient looking amulet made from a piece of string tied around a gemstone. Herbs are braided into the string. It smells of sulfur and is covered in a slimy substance. Ew! Pick up the slimy amulet. With the intruder gone, perhaps Magnus is in a more talkative mood. Where are we? What just happened? For real? Maybe the question is where, but when are we? This place, it meant something to me. I lived here once, long ago. The headless horseman. No, Gunner. He was there also. I did something, something terrible. Thank you for chasing him away, Christina. The headless horseman, he's out there, looking for me. I can't rem remember. It's all so hazy. The forging, forging of a tool. So long ago, how did I do it? Oh, I did dismount. Okay. Oh. This cinematic. Oh, this. There it is, my crowning achievement. Forging this tool, perfectly crafted to shatter the most sacred of stones and splitting through the most hollowed of trees. It was made to to shatter magic. That tool, that weapon, could it be Forgive me. I do not know what I was doing. How could I know what he was planning? The legendary splitting maul, a powerful tool imbued with the magic of a thousand harnessed horses. Harnesses? Harn- whatever. It never misses its target. Rune hammer. That's what I called it. Now, the rune stone. Go to the rune stone. What the f- Alright. 
me just casually with a big ass hammer. Yes, this is where it happened. Do you hear it? The horses? What is he asking you to do, Christina? Uh, well, <laughs> Move my camera so I don't... <laughs> this cinematic masterpiece. And one more time. Third time's the charm. I remember now. I remember everything. So much pain, so much guilt. I spent the rest of my life and undeath trying to repent for what I did. I can still feel it. The runestone crumbling underneath the heavy weight of Runehammer's blow. I wielded it once, but never again. The shattering of the Yorubic steel runestone. I can't believe you just witnessed it, Christina. I suppose I should thank you for helping me remember. Although I admit I didn't I didn't really want to. Alas, holding these memories is an apt punishment for my actions. I do not deserve to forget. Is there something you would like to know, Christina? I already got the bridle. Now's the chance to find out what we need to know about Galliper, Christina. Nobody knows where Runehammer is today. It was last seen with Gunner. However, Galliper Thompson does not appear to wield it now. Perhaps it has been lost to the ages. It is for the best. I hope nobody finds it. Why did you forge Runehammer? the Splitting Mall. I forged the Great Splitting Mall rune hammer at the behest of John Jaro. He wanted to he wanted a tool to destroy the mystical runestones which could be found all over Yorvik. For some reason, those runestones seemed to bother him. I happily accepted the mission. I wasn't concerned with what with what the tool was used for. I was too preoccupied with the thought of working with such wondrous magical materials. I had never seen anything like it before. How could I resist? Alas, I cannot see past the great honor of being given such a mighty task. Now Runehammer is my greatest re regret. Why would Galloper, Gunnar, Grimson be chasing after you now? Runehammer created it for the sole purpose of destroying magic and green objects. It was given to Gunnar Thrymson. He used it to shatter many runestones across Jorvik. With every runestone, he seemed to lose a little part of himself. Until one day, there was nothing left of him. That's when the horse arrived. Morgan, he called it. I believe Gunner, or shall I call him Galloper, ended up the way he is today because of me. Without my splitting maul, he would have not been able to destroy all those runestones many lifetimes ago. So this is the story of Magnus Strainer and Runehammer, the splitting maul. Do you still have the amulet from the presents we chased off earlier? Mind if I take a closer look? You need to hold on to this for a while. It seems vaguely familiar somehow. Magnus, is, if this is from whoever was stalking you earlier, it didn't come from Galloper Thompson, that's for sure. Christina, I think we've learned all we can from this place. It looks like we're leaving with more questions than we had when we arrived. I have an idea of what this amulet might be, but I'll need to be sure. I'll find you when I have confirmed my suspicions. Alright. So we make it the end of Galloper's story next week. Ooh. Wait, I can check if I have the... Because if I do, I'll just sell it.
I don't need two of them. Pretty sure I do, though. Have the swordsman's bridle. So, I'll just sell it. Excuse me. Silverglade Village. Ladies, what are you doing? I swear that squirrel calls me stupid. There's a soul shard. Oh, well, can't get it. Not that I need it. I love that there's just a lone witch, like, right over there. Like, she's not doing anything.
no. I hate this race. It makes me nervous. Haley? You're gonna have to rem remind me. Unless it's Alana or Aliona. It is you. It has to be you. You're the you're the only VIP I have. I'm dumb and a terrible person, so. There's that. Oh, he's right there. God damn it. one over the here. I'm doing good. Just playing some Star Stable before tomorrow. Because tomorrow I'm going to be terrified. Aliona. Because I'm playing Resident Evil tomorrow and there's a giant fucking tarantula in the game. I mean, you've had Aliona so long, so. You know. It's right there. I mean, you change your name, like, <laughs> every fucking day on Discord, so. I thought it was part of my old club. Well, should I even call it my old club considering I was only in it for like three days? Probably not even that. Is 
But anyways, I was part of this club, me and Galaxy. We were part of this club called Bad Judges. They were very nice, very sweet. You should go and join their club. And honestly, they were very sweet. Like, the person who runs it, he was very sweet. Like, he totally understood why I couldn't stay in the club. But they are a club on Nightstar, and you should go join. They're... They have a few members right now. And they are growing. And they do like hunters and they are planning on doing dressage like later down the line. But you know. The growing group. Oh, why can't you get these? What's the point of putting something back here? Makes me mad. Oh, look, it's me. I don't care. Damn it. Yes, it is I. Excuse me while I yawn. Don't whine. You have nothing to whine about. God, Hades. Such a baby. Oh. Can't. I 
I wish I had an indoor cat. I have a dog. I didn't even see what was chasing me. Well, I'm not taking that way because there's witches. I guess I should say this way. Sometimes there's stuff over here. It's a cat. See, I like the cat. All you get is purring. And I appreciate that. Tree was already knocked down. What? You know, I never made the connection of why there was just like falling trees and rock slides. And then I saw the black cat. And it took me forever to make the connection like, oh, black cat. Black cats bring bad luck. That's superstition. That's why there's falling trees. And rock slides everywhere. Which isn't true. Black cats do not bring bad luck. You're just a shady person and karma's getting you. Hades. Anyways, Hades is so funny because I have like this mirror hanging on my door and sometimes he'll just look at himself. <laughs> I don't know if he thinks it's a different dog or... Yes, sir. I hear you. I'm pretty sure all the stream heard you.
fine. Let's go this way. Oh, where have I missed to? Hang on, I'll be back. I swear, Hades is dumb. Like, he whines wanting outside to the living room because that's where dog food is. But the thing is, I have dog food in my room. So, why are you whining when we, you have the same dog food that's in my room? I want to see what this witch's gambit's all about. I did. I'm not buying a frog mask.
you get away from them. I'll tolerate you chewing on my record storage thing. I will not tolerate you trying to chew on my anime figures. That's not happening. Should have done this first, then I could have. Nope, hate it. going Hate you. Hey, 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 hey! I'm talking to you. Oh. There. Oh, I have to go to everybody. Okay. I wanted to do. God, why is this so janky? No. Go to the keep. Uh, how about I stay around for a while? Hey, there was my old club. Bad judges. Guess we can do some races while I wait on the ghostly thing to come get me. You know what I can't stand? That. God, it makes me want to kill myself. So why is it like all day afternoon? I don't understand that. And I can't change the time.
Oh, which gambit? Where are you? Which you which of the west? Stop that. You make me angry every day. Star Stable think that they needed to add that. Which, where are you? No, no, no. Do not jump up here. Do it again. Get on. Get on with yourself. Talking back like that. Go on! I don't have time for you right now. Especially not when I'm about to be chased by a witch. This track makes no sense whatsoever. There's so many fucking sharp turns. Witchy, can you come so my dog can go to the bathroom? Whatever the fuck he needs. Yes, yes, I know. Just hang on. Is this witch? to mute to talk to him. If I go into the keep, I'll be safe. If I don't, if I'm not, then oh well. I'll be back.
Alright. God. You were in my way. Come back tomorrow for more fun. Miss Ma'am, am I going to be chased? Right, did I even accept the mission to be chased? Like the fuck? heard the knocking and I thought it scared the shit out of me. It's just Lofi. I read on Star Stable News that they moved the Belgian Warmbloods to Golden Leaf Stables. I don't understand that. Like, wouldn't you move them to Silverglade? Like, Village? Because they were at the manor. Why are they at Golden Leaf Stables?
do I have it? It's just taking her forever to chase me. Bruh. Some witch, am I right? Idea. Thank you for the lurk. Yeah, now you have an egg next to you because someone gifted you a sub. I love when my horse flies. Gosh. Rah! Bumpiness of this road and how uneven it is.
Well, I didn't kind of want to train on stream, but here we are because we're waiting on a witch who won't show up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, well. Okay. I don't really have time for you right now. <laughs> this is what I get for sh talking shit. Well, now we're gonna have to wait and see what it's like to get away from her. Because I fucked that up. She really did get me at a bad time. Uh, hang on. my mother I have to go and help her but I'm gonna get to a safe spot first do do 
this pistol can do that. No one else can fucking help in this house.
I swear, I think some Dobermans are smarter than others. Guess I can wait at Silverlade Village since that's where the next racetrack's gonna be. What's in this ass? I just finished my homework so I can get on. I'm gonna be waiting at Silverglade Racetrack because I have the new witch thing on. So I'm kind of waiting for her to start chasing me. So, you know. And that's where the next championship's gonna be. But, like, I was gonna end stream after that. Well, no, because I was going to do the championship, then look at the Dutch Warmblood uh, spoilers, and then in stream. But I'm still going to be on Galaxy after that. So. I mean, we didn't really do anything. We just did the typical stuff, you know. But I guess I can tell you a story I've been thinking about telling, but you know, I keep forgetting about it. So one day, I forgot what day it was, me and my mom were at Brahms. Mosquito. And, and Brahms is like this ice cream parlor type place, but you can also buy groceries there. And me and my mom were having kind of early dinner late lunch whatever you want to call it and me and her were sitting at a booth this old woman i need to turn this music down this old woman comes up and sits in the booth behind me like we're well we are back to back and you know she kind of bounces the booth that's an important detail I wasn't paying attention because I was looking at her. But she bounced the booth. And, you know, I kind of bounce my booth a little to, you know, adjust because she bounced. Well, after a while, me and my mom decide we're going to get some ice cream. So we get up and go and order some ice cream. Okay. For those that don't know, I am a big girl. Besides what my character may look like, I'm a plus size girl. Uh, I sit down. And what I hear behind me is, you don't have to rock the booth quietly. This motherfucking old lady told a plus size person to not rock the booth. Offhandedly. So now I'm petty. And I start bouncing my leg because I can't sit still for long. I need to like bounce my leg or sit not straight. I hear behind me, can you not bounce the booth, please? And granted, she said, please, whatever. But I mean, excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> I can do whatever I want. You're sitting in a booth, sweetie. 
And so I get up again because I want another scoop of ice cream because it, the thing is I had a root beer flow and they only gave me one scoop and it wasn't enough so I go up to get me another one. And I look over because I'm standing at the counter waiting for them to hand me the cup. I look over, this bitch moved spoof. Like she's sitting at the same table, but she moved booths. I'm like, wow, lady, 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 lady. <laughs> oh, lady. You may be an old woman, but I don't have to respect you unless you show me the same respect. And that's what I always say. I'll treat... I don't treat old people with respect unless they treat me with respect. Thing is, she was just sitting there. I think she was people watching or something because all she had was a coffee. And I get you're old. You don't have time. You have all the time in the world. But drink coffee at home. Take up a hobby. Go into knitting. Do something. And the funny thing is, the booth she set out, an old man also, like, after a bit, an old man came and sat down behind in the booth I was she was sitting at, or behind her, and he kind of bounced the booth, and it made my fucking day. <laughs> but the weird thing is, after that, me and mom uh, finished eating, and this bitch... Orders take out. So we're kind of leaving at the same time. She's behind me while I'm walking out. And she walks out. I get to my car. Tell me why fate has decided, oh, you're going to be in the same. You're going to be in the car next to her. Because she got into the car next to us. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? But the weird thing is she put her takeout in her trunk like why what was the reason anyways that was my story And how I got told by an old woman that I was mega fat. Offhandedly, by the way. How's your day going, Galaxy? If they mistreat me or my family, I'm going to be a bitch. Thing is, my mom heard it too. Like, she heard her say under her breath, you don't have to bounce the bench or booth. Like, lady, how dare you? Hey, CB? Why CB? Well, I can understand why you're CB. I'm gonna wait until like the last minute to sign up. Unless that fucking ghost wants to haunt me. Yeah. We well, can take a lot out of you. Honestly, existing can take a lot out of you.
God damn it. Come on, ghost. Earth Galaxy. With the lips on her that they were trying so hard to buy. Where this ghost? I don't, yeah. <sighs> so, what did Thilo say? Or if you don't want to talk about it on stream, I understand. If you want to talk about it in Discord, that's fine too. Because me and him talked about me streaming on the club stuff, and he says he's not sure about it, but he does like want publicity. You know, when I was still in the club. So. I'm gonna be right here so when ghosty girl comes it'll be this far away from me I knew I would do that. I knew it. I'd be in first and then I'd mess up. your chat in a bit galaxy god damn it
So basically, we may be switching, but Alyssa was like, I don't want you spending all the money to your name in a horse game. So. Yeah. Can you come on so I can run away? It's like an open field. Like I know they don't want to like make exceptions considering it's not fair. But who knows? Not last. I'm going to get Oriya now. I may get that horse soon. I may train up this horse. to sell my stuff. Oh, and if you did the quest again, you'll get the Headless Horseman Bridle again, so you can sell that galaxy. or something what I thought that was come on ghost I have to pee technically she's not even a ghost she's a witch Where's that tornado at? Is it in Moreland? Oh, where is that? Yes, Moreland? Yes. Don't go that way, girl. It's not worth it. Oh. Glad you made it down.
And here she comes. Finally. I just want to hear what she does when you get away from her. Damn it, no! No, no, no! I refuse! Refuse! The soul shard ghost got me. You motherfucker. You. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. I guess I'll just do it off stream. Sorry, guys. But. Unless I just sit there and wait. in the keep okay okay guess I can't jump over that where's the ghost where is the ghost Thank you for the soul shards that I don't need. I guess I'll activate the ghost again and I'll just sit and wait. I guess we can. But we need to be in a group for us to have like the same experience. But I may do the ghost first, look at the spoilers, and then end stream. So. If you wanted to wait, you can. If you wanted to do the... Uh... If you wanted to do the trail, you can. But I really want to see what happens when I run away from the ghost. Successfully. Like, I get it. I get three soul shards. But that's not really what I'm here for right now. We're going to get haunted by a ghost, too. Yeah, you can call. Oh, oh god. Oh god.
verbal communication is just so much easier now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Especially when you're running away from a witch. Results me. But yeah, Alyssa said, like, quote, I don't want you spending all your hard-earned money on a horse game, so... Uh... I don't know. Like, maybe they're gonna switch it? I already saw the Belgian, it's kinda cute. I haven't. I was saving for stream. You know what? Oh boy. Oh, I'm scared of this, because this guy is harder than Galibri, right? Apparently so, because I failed twice. Where are you Let's at? Let's see how good of a writer I am. Oh boy. Are you still in the keep, or did you leave? I left. Where are you? Uh, I'm, like, just right outside the keep. I came in at Dundal, so I'm gonna have to come find you. I'm hoping she doesn't, like, assault me instantly. Uh, if you're coming in through Dundal, then I'll be at the... Uh, what is it called? Where they had that one lady's funeral. Oh, um... Oh. But you know where I'm talking about. I don't remember exactly where that is. It's near the Pony Championship. Oh, it is? Okay. Doyle's Abbey. That's what it is. I'm hoping to God that I don't get ambushed immediately. Nah, it took her a while for me on the first try. Obviously, it's taken her a while on the second try. Let's see how it goes. Third time's the charm. I'm so afraid right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrified. <laughs> I don't want to get... Assaulted while I'm trying to find you. Uh, so go to Moreland. That's the that's the play for me. At least I'm just... my iPad was dead, so I literally just played Pokemon Showdown for half the day. <laughs> can can she get me while I'm in the trailer? Maybe. You'll oh, know when God. she's there. It'll start raining. Okay. Oh boy. The nerves. The anticipation. Alright. Run. Run, Orion. Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here waiting. I... Oh my God. Being near the portal scared the piss out of me just then. <laughs> Holy shit. I swear, it's so far out, that effect. Like, it doesn't need to be that far. Yeah, well... So I'm running over to Doyle's Abbey right now. Why is it still there? Okay. It takes a while for it to oh. go away. Oh, thank god. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. That's... Just head over to the Pony Championship, and I'm literally just right there. Okay, I'm going to the Pony Championship. Ah. Ow, I just hit a fence. Alright. Oh, there! Okay. Right, 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 right. Um, ah. You see me comically crash into a wall. <laughs> We're prepared to sprint for our lives, right? Sure. Actually, wait. You know what I need to do first? <laughs> you gotta take care of your horse while... <laughs> Should I try this? What's the worst that can happen? I get caught and I waste five soul shards. But it's fine. It's totally fine. Everything's fine. Okay, I've gotten to the water. 
I got into the water. I'm almost done. Okay, I did it. I did it. We're good. We're fine. Everything is, everything is perfectly normal. Ugh. Doing anything. During this is like... It just makes sense for both magical forms to be standing beside each other. Mm -hmm. I find it funny because when I brush this horse, I'm brushing its leaves, so... <laughs> You're brushing the leaves. But do you think the stuff in the fe in the mane is feathers on this horse or leaves? I'm not sure. I think it's feathers. Because they, they have like a different pattern than the leaves on this horse. Which way are we running? Just sprinting like mad in that direction? Yeah. Okay. You kind of have to pay attention to the ground because circles will appear and they'll stop you. Okay. Stop that. It takes forever. Oh, I got the whole tag set. I haven't tried it on. I got it when I bought the spark runes for my little design. Didn't Thylo tell you not to spend star coins on the uniform? The the uniform doesn't count to the horse. Mm. I got the set for this horse, Pastel. Oh, you got the witch set. Yeah. I didn't get the clothes though, just the tag. Why is it so nerve-wracking to wait? <laughs> Watch me die? Uh, you'll just be sent back to the keep. I'm just waiting for one of us to get it and not the other one. So we'll just be running. <laughs> so one of us will just be sprinting like freaking mad. How long do we have to run for? I have no idea, because I got caught. Probably the same as Galloper. How many seashores? It would be more atmospheric if I set it to nine. Hmm? Mine's on. set to like afternoon, and I can't like change it. Well, you can change it in the settings. In oh, the I can't. Yeah, you can change it in the settings. Yeah, it doesn't change. Why not? That's weird. I just set mine to night. Wait, the horse's eyes glow! Yo! Which one? I didn't realize that. Both? Yours? Yeah. I have that lo-fi music going in, I just hear random noises and it freaks me out. Yeah. I'm just trying to get in line. Like a perfect line, but it's not working. Yeah. Here we go. That's good enough. So, how was your day passed out? Uh, pretty- oh, there I go. Bye. <laughs> Can't even finish, start my story or anything. But, oh, uh, I finished a custom because someone ordered it from me and I'm just like, okay. And they loved it. And it was a crossbreed between a horse and basically a bug creature. And I gave it like monarch butterfly wings. So, like, what I'm thinking of is like the Christmas. God damn it, no! The fucking insect horses. Yeah. The, the fucking the changelings. The, yeah, I don't. I didn't remember what they were called. The fucking. 
But it's their reformed form, not the black form you're thinking of. Honestly, I'm thinking about making a My Little Pony OC. I'm debating it. <laughs> Do it. But I'm sending you the custom. I have every brain cell. So, um... Oh, that's so cute! If that's what I did. And they loved it. I'm sure they, I'm sure they have bases for, like, the Keatings, don't they? The, the what? The Keatings. The Keatings. I say yeah, it like that. Because... They do. I'll be back, because Mother's calling me. Did you die? Still nothing. Dude, the freaking pressure! Are you gonna try it again or just do it? I will, but after stream. God damn it, my thing messed up. Hang on. Why did this mess up? I am gonna scream. She's freaking fucking up. Well. Oh no. Newbie alert, please don't come over to me. Please don't come over to me. Please don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> well, while Galaxy is dealing with that, we're gonna watch the Dutch Warmblood spoilers. I don't think I can end up doing an oh lord, she coming with this one. Don't... No, because you can't turn around. Hades, I swear to God. You want it in here. Go. What? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Poor galaxy. <laughs> Just okay, the with. Dutch warm bloods. Just get it over with. Please. That does not look like Concord, but okay. Wait, Concord is one of those? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. I like the gates so far, they're kind of like airy, if that makes sense. Yeah. Still nothing. Oh, did you hear Star Stable's gonna be, have us be able to jump in a trot now? Yeah, that was already done. You can already do it. No, you can only jump in a canter and up. No, I just did it. 
Pastel, I just did it. Maybe it's on, only on certain horse breeds. Did you try? Oh, oh the hard stop. That's a little disappointing. What is the? I didn't even look at the hard stop. Kind of does like a little slide, but like that's dumb. Special move. No witch after the me yet. The special gate. Oh my god. Oh your god, what? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Run! Oh, Ryan! Run! Oh god. Run, oh Ryan, run, oh Ryan, run, oh Ryan, run, oh Ryan. Aw, the island oh, animations are cute. <laughs> if I escape this, then it's a skill issue for you. I mean, I keep hitting hiring. the circles. I get it! So, it's a skill issue for you. I keep hitting the circles, leave me alone! Are you in the keep? Mmm, yes. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not in Star Stable right now. <laughs> well, just... Just avoid the cir- There you are. Just avoid the circles as you're... Like... As they're appearing. Just I try, but then they appear right in front of me. Oh, that's not you. That's the colors, the seal, Dapple Bay. Okay. I really like the um, Cremolo, but. Ow, my throat actually hurts now. Typical hairstyles. Ooh, a special tail braid. I don't really like it. It looks like it has a ball in the middle of it, and I don't like it. The dapple gray. There you are. I guess it's a light dapple gray. Oh, it's got like little freckles. I'm looking at your stream because I'm too lazy. Uh, to look them up myself. So, uh, I'll show you the heart stop when it's over. Ooh, the chestnut's pretty. I like the socks. He looks like a horse I used to. With the nose. Kind of like the Lips Honors uh, main yeah. styles. I don't really like the how short the main is. Another bay, Dapple Bay. I don't know all the bay things, so don't tell me that it's wearing pistol. Don't tell me that, chat. I don't. I don't care. I just know it's a bay. It has dapples. I might get the bay. I'm not. Which one, the seal bay or the this bay? Probably that one. A pretty bay, I'll admit. I like a lot from interface though. Like the bay that gave, for example. Okay. I mean, I'm not mad at this color option. We don't really see a lot of these colors. We're get the next one I do love though. I love that nose stripe. That's so cute. And of course the black. There's one more after that. Oh, the app horse. That's also gonna be in game. <laughs> Is it all black or does it have white markings? I can't tell. It's all black. 
the beautiful black, I will admit. I make it the black. A chonky horse. Dude! In global! Oh my god, guys! My parents just brought a horse in my room and they said it's my horse. Oh my god. You're Cremello. Yeah, I'm probably gonna buy that one. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like it. <laughs> I love Cremellos. I do Those too, are... but like... And we only have like one other Cremello. And it's... Wait, two. We have the Lustano and the English Thoroughbred. But... I love it. It's so cute! It's very pale. <laughs> It looks sick. That's the point! I feel like it needs red eyes to be albino. Cremellos don't have red eyes. I know. They usually have blue eyes. Do not scratch at my door after you want it out. Hades, I'm getting tired of you. Like, it's so pretty. It reminds me of those one, like, meat-eating horses. What? Yeah, there's a meat- there's a meat-eating horse. You mean the ones from Greek mythology? Because I've never heard of that before. No. It's like an actual horse. What? Mm. Alright, Google time! What the fuck are you talking about? I really Let like the chestnut. And the dapple gray. I need the Cremello in my life. But here is the hard stop. You're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. It looks bad. I don't know what's going to feel bad about it. Now, granted, it could change. You know. So, is that the hard stop? Not the rearing, it's that glide. I kind of like that because it's like an elegant horse. This horse was made for dressage, you can tell. But... Um... This can't be real, can I? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. I'm looking it up. I'm kind of deciding between the dapple gray and the chestnut. I'm just seeing uh, black. I'm just seeing people need to eat about people eating horse meat, not a horse eating meat. I'm pretty sure it's real. Like what? Oh my god. They will, but that doesn't mean they really can. That rarely happens. But I see it's not the horse I'm talking about. Um, is it Shemolsky's? I don't know what they're called. But they have like a beautiful coat. No, it's not Shemolsky's. Um. I don't know. I'm reading. What color are they, usually? Draft uh, horse. I found it, but what is it called? It's in 10 most beautiful, rare and beautiful horses. Reverse image search. Is it really an Algatiki that I'm thinking of? No, that's not right. What? An Algatiki? Really? 
Well, it's a specific Alcatique. It's like a golden one. I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, people eat horses and it makes me really upset. Yeah, they do it in certain situations. But that's the horse I'm thinking of. Oh, did you DM me or? Yeah, I DM'd you a picture. Eccletech. That's what immediately what I thought of when I saw the Cremello. I'm like, <laughs> And that is a Cremello. No, it's golden. That's what they call it. Quote unquote yeah. golden. That looks to me like a Cremello, fam. That looks to me like a Cremello. Got some dappling in it. I mean, it's cute, but. Yeah, this one ain't Wait, it for me, fam. It has dapples? Where? It has dapples? I didn't see it has dapples. Yeah, it's got dapples like on its stomach. And then I think like oh, right here. I need it even more now. Oh my <laughs> god. The reasons you hate it are the reasons I've loved it. For real, for real. I just don't like how it looks sick. <laughs> like, to me, it looks sick. And I know it's that's not... It's not sick. But I guess they replaced the Belgian Wormbloods at the Vineyard since the Belgian Wormbloods are at... Uh, golden leaf. So what are your final thoughts? I mean, it's a pretty dressage horse. And I hope to God they don't replace the lip designer because I just bought a lip designer for nothing then. Oh. I might do the witch again because it's more profitable than that. You know. Um, K to the KWPN, commonly known as the Dutch Wormblood, is a sport horse bred to dominate the competition circuit. This relatively young breed has won medals and highest marks at the Olympics. The FEI World Equestrian Games and the Jorvik Equestrian Festival. Dressage riders will thrill at the chance to perform an extended trot and the Piaf, a highly collected cadence. Elevated diagonal movement, giving the impression of remaining in place with the Dutch Wormblood. I don't know what that means. Anne von Blyssen, Jorvik's elite dressage com competitor, God, I cannot talk, explains that the traits that make the breed an excellent sports horse, a calm temperament, intelligence, curiosity, power, and elegance, also makes it a good companion for any rider. Bond with your own Dutch Royal and start prancing. I got a call. I got I got a call from one of my supers and he's like, hey, yeah, can you do me a favor? I'm doing the witch again, because that was fun. <laughs> but nice. it's that's it for stream. Uh, I got nothing else to say, so I'll see you all in the next stream. Today, I'm going to raid you all to a friend of mine. So, yeah, bye.